Today on my channel, Planner Friends, I'm going to flip through six months in this Faith Planner. Um, it's an A5. I'm going to show you a brief glimpse of my other Faith Planners. I'm into my third, well into my third year of Faith Studies. And I want to talk about, I finished this study and I'm going to talk about the study itself and what's next. But I also want to talk to you about what over two years of faith studies have done for me in the hopes of uplifting you. So please, my dear friends, stay tuned. Hello, planner friends, and welcome to my channel. I am one crafty dolo on Sundays on my channel. It is always about Jesus. Uh, faith studies, Bible studies, and I have a good mug of tea. I'd like you to pull up a chair, grab some tea or coffee, and let's talk about faith. And I'm going to do a flip through as I'm talking. Um, and hopefully I inspire both you in terms of your faith and your place in this life, and also in terms of your creativity. So if you're new, join my growing community, you, you know, subscribe and all of that. If you're returning, if you're a subscriber, thank you. I always think people, and I understand this, I'm there a lot. Money, money is a problem and we worry, but really the biggest thing is the gift of your time and it's time that matters the most. So thank you for the gift of your time. Okay, so what I'd like to do is to do a flip through of six months in this particular planner. I wanna show you something real quick. This is not my first A5 faith study. Here's one, okay, and, and I have it all decorated, right? And I have, you can see if we were to go through it, I have decorated, there are a week here and there that I didn't decorate as much, but I have been doing, I'm in, this, in my third year here, if you can imagine this, right? Three years of A5 faith studies. It's amazing to me. I mean, at some point I probably should do a flip through, although I think I have, but you know, I can go through some of these and and show you what I've done and how I've grown and how I've changed my approach. But yeah, I um, Ash Wednesday marked the entrance into my third year of studies. Can you imagine? Isn't this pretty? I mean, look at these. These are great. I love them. And I've grown. I've learned. So what I want to talk to you today about and see, sometimes I make little booklets and, and I keep those here. I mean, I just, yeah, this is really, these are wonderful. And I'm so glad I have them. I feel like I'm going to keep needing to buy binders to house these, but I'm not getting rid of them. No way. So this is the faith study I just completed. And I'm going to, like I said, talk about my other faith studies as we flip through. This is from the Daily Grace Co. I've been doing a lot of studies by the Daily Grace Co., um, this one is stand firm, putting on the full armor of God. I'm glad I did it. And I feel like after so many other studies, this one kind of helped me change how I think about a lot of things in conjunction with everything else that I've done. So I decorated all this. Um, this is an Erin Condren A5. <sighs> I know they're pricey. I know they are, but I got to tell you, the paper is to die for. I really love how this came out. I used um, stencil butter on here and I just created a pocket in the back, which I like to do a lot of the time, but it just, it's pretty, right? Now I've already moved uh, my inserts. I'm doing this last minute because I finished my study like two days early and I want to get this in here. So let me just flip as I talk about the studies that I've done and hopefully I can help you wherever you are and inspire you. And you can see how I decorate sometimes with stamps, sometimes with inking, sometimes washi, sometimes stickers, sometimes stencils. What I do in here more than ever is I really focus on the verses and learning the Bible better 
And then I, if I am quoting the Bible, of course I use quotation marks. If I'm quoting the study, I will also use quotation marks. And if it's my own interpretation, I use an arrow. That's my system for doing it. So the question is, after now that I'm in my third year, which is awesome, of Bible study, what do I think? What what studies do I love the best? And what's next, I guess you could say. Whew. First off, I do like the Daily Grace Coast studies. All right. I have found them to be really good in terms of digging into the word and understanding. Um, so those have been good. I also have a second study, which I know a lot of people might think, oh, that's ridiculous, but I need what I need. And don't let anyone tell you that you're too fill in the blank. You're too this, you're too, you know, you do this too much. You do that too much. Don't listen to people. Okay. I think this is an appropriate verse for what I'm talking about. And the Gospel of Matthew is definitely my, still always has been my favorite. Do not, Matthew 6, 19, do not lay up for yourselves the treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where the thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. Boom. And so if you need this the way I need it, then I encourage you to do this. So what has over three years, I'm in my third year, so over two years of this all taught me is to put the gospel first. Okay. That's what's really resonating with me this year in a different way than other years. And it's helping me going back to the Old Testament and bringing it forth into the New Testament and, and seeing the predictions of Jesus and seeing the the understanding that God keeps his promises and, and what that means. And you can see I did this for Lent. Um, that's been really pivotal for me, okay? And then I always put something in here kind of as a inspiration, if you will. What it's also helping me to do, okay, so this study, which I'll show you, was an enriching study of our everyday sins that turn us away from God and Jesus to fo focus on the values, and I use that in quote, of the world. Okay, so I have become much more mindful of my place in the universe by doing all these studies. I become more mindful of how I handle my life and why even those of us who might go to church or might think of ourselves as Christians, why we don't always put the gospel first. And I would say these studies have had a really lasting impact on me personally. I deal with anxiety. I've mentioned it many times, many times on this channel. And you know what? I feel like I can't say it's gone. I know it'll rear its ugly head. Okay. These studies have given me the tools and equipped me. And I would say that this one with the armor of God, really to fight these battles and to understand the battles in terms of the long game. Um, Jesus secures our salvation. Jesus gives us an eternal home. Jesus brings us from death to life. That was a quote from the study. And I really, because of Jesus, we have ever, an everlasting hope. Okay, that was the, there was the end of the Lent um, study I did, which I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, I do feel that my being has been fundamentally changed by these studies in a good way. I've tried really, really hard to put good into the world in my life. I really have. Can I just say, sorry to interrupt here, the stenciling, like totally on point. Okay, if I say so myself, I love these stencils. 
back to my regularly scheduled program, if you will. Seriously, though, I feel like these studies have transformed me and equipped me, and that's a deliberate word choice. They have equipped me better to deal with the ups and downs and downs and ups and issues with life. I have this saying that none of us get out unscathed and we don't. Okay. I'm sorry. We don't. I wish it wasn't true. That being said, Old Testament, New Testament, we are equipped and we are watched and we are given the tools. Um, Isaiah 59, 17, he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation on his head. Isaiah 11, 5, righteousness shall be the belt of his waist and faithfulness the belt of his loins. This is through, through Ephesians 6, 14, stand therefore having fastened on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness you know what I mean? This is, Jesus said, John fourteen six. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I see the continuity, and I see myself in the continuity of these studies in this. And I feel better. I just feel better. I feel better about me. I feel better about I'm not going to cry. I always cry. Good Lord. And I make fun of my cousin. I'm like, you cry at McDonald's commercials. And she starts crying. She's like, I know I do. And she does. I don't know. I feel like sometimes the weights we carry are just too much. And we have answers if we seek to find them. You know? John 10, 28, I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. That's pretty powerful in and all by itself. But this is like, yeah, we are taken care of. Um, you know, and then I just got to say, uh, God prevails over the world. I sum up a lot of times down here in my studies. I sum it up and that's how I feel. And I want you to remember that. And I feel like this channel has become so many things that I didn't expect. And one of them is the ability to reach out to you and say, you know what? I'm human and I suffer from anxiety and life has not, <laughs> life really hasn't always gone more often than not, and yet the blessings are abundant. And yet I've been cared for and taken care of, and I've been living this life in a way, especially if you don't know me, I'm chronically ill. I have scleroderma, which is an autoimmune disease. Um, you can see a little bit of the disfigurement I have here, but, and I don't want you to feel sorry for me. Please know that's not why I'm mentioning it, but it's a battle. There's no other way to say it. It's a battle. And all of this equips me to deal with that. That, that makes sense. And this study, this Armor of God study. So, okay. What happened is um, I messed up. And this is actually the last page. I was kept thinking to myself, I have five weeks. I have five weeks. And I messed up and started here instead see I'm human instead of there so then I just went back because I knew I had planned it out and somehow I kept missing it what this study has shown me and I'm going to cut to the end real quick um first Corinthians 15 54 then shall come to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory and then it goes on oh death where is your victory oh death where is your sting the sting of death is the sin and the power of sin is law but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our love, our Lord Jesus Christ. And it goes from 1554 to 1557. God, Jesus is our armor of God versus the world. And his promise, God's promises are fulfilled to us in him. I want you to lean in on that with me for a minute. And understand that as hard as it is, as hard as people are, 
God's got you and God's got me. And one of the other lessons from this study is that, um, here we go. Romans 7, 19, for I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do is what I want to keep doing. We are all sinners. Okay. But then it goes on in Romans 8, 26 and 27. Likewise, the spirit, spirit, the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness for we do not know what to pray as we ought, but the spirit intercedes for us. Okay. He, he, the, the Holy Spirit is there and it is with us and we are told over and over and over again, uh, Galatians 6, 9, and let us not grow weary of doing good for in due season, we will reap of what we do not give up. Okay. If you don't give up doing the good things, it, it perseverance. Okay. Perseverance. Yeah, this was fabulous. This is just really fabulous. And as we consider the needs of others, bear the burden, bear their burdens and make requests on their behalf, we not only serve them but bring glory to God. And what I didn't anticipate in starting this channel is that I am serving God. I'm not doing it perfectly. I don't have all the answers. I'm just a woman walking along here doing the best I can, but I have help. The end of the study goes through, um, from beginning to end, the Bible tells us the story of God's plan to fully and finally deliver his people from evil. Throughout the Old Testament, God offers us his promise of a savior, and it just goes through a few. In Genesis, you have Abraham. Uh, the story of Isaiah, Moses in Deuteronomy, kings such as David, if you read the Psalms, right? Prophets such as Samuel, uh, 1 Samuel, 2, 2 Samuel, God and others, of course. God protects us and his, keeps his promises. I just want you to see this today and know that wherever you are, whoever you are, just start. Just start. And it's never too late to start anew. It's never too late to grow in your faith. It's never too late to minister to the people you love. It's not too late. And I didn't anticipate in starting this channel. I just, you know, I just started a little planner channel. And once I started doing, showing people my faith, studies, and so forth, I became uplifted in the process of sharing it helped me immeasurably and it helps me, like I said, with anxieties, with worries and so forth. So I would like to lift you up in prayer. If you need prayer, I would love to lift you up. So please let me know. In the meantime, I really highly recommend in particular this study. I should go through all the studies I've done this, I, the studies I've done, although I've talked about how to do it, but this study has been really good. Now the question is what's next, right? I do have two more I had purchased previously. Peace for the anxious heart and as well, walking away from anxiety and into God's word. So these two are possibilities. I mean, I've got them. The other thing I did do is I ordered some books from the library, including a study on Ecclesiastes, which, no, not Ecclesiastes. Wait, no. Ephesians. Sorry. I sometimes do that. Sorry. <laughs> I, I Not good. Because a lot of this study was based on Ephesians 6. So there was a Joyce My May yeah, Meyer study that was available. There's also a, a book I got. I'm getting um, how to study the Bible. You know, uh, who wrote the books, what they say. I want to really increase my knowledge going forth here. So I certainly will do these anxiety studies, but I have to tell you, the more I've learned about the gospels, the more I've learned about God's lessons from old and new Testament combined, the better I feel. And if you're with me on my planner journey, part of how I've decided to change how I plan and look at big picture stems from this, because once you understand the end is victory in Jesus, once you understand that death is just this world and then we're on to a much better place 
through him, with him, and in him. It changes your mindset and it helps me from becoming mired in the daily muck of life. My prayer for you is that you grow with me and that we grow together and that we learn and inspire each other. Thank you for being here, friends. Thank you for the gift of your time, as I said at the beginning. And really, if I can pray for you, let me know in the comments. Have a blessed week, planner friends. God bless you all. Bye now.